In this task, you'll design a proportional symbol map showing the Syrian internally displaced persons, or IDPs, and the refugees. You'll design the base map and proportional symbols in this task. Normally, you would also create the labels. However, as there are so few labels to add, we'll do this manually in the next lab when we start finalizing the map design. So here I've got QGIS Desktop open, and I've loaded the shaded relief layer, loaded the oceans and styled it, and added the coastline layer. So I'm a few steps into the lab, but these were pretty basic steps, so I went ahead. So now I need to style and rename the coastline layer. So I'm going to double click on the coastline layer to open up the layer properties. First I'll rename it coastline. And then I'll switch to the style tab. Click the simple line and change the color of the line. I'm going to choose color. And on the hue saturation and value slider, I'll set this to 195. 15, 40. I'll click OK, and I'm going to set the width of this line to 1.25. So the way I've styled this, it's going to serve as the water boundary for the countries. It'll essentially mask the color of the boundaries of the country layer we'll add later. So I'll go ahead and click OK. I also need to drag this just below oceans in the layers panel. So now I'm going to add the next layer. I'll click the Add Data button and browse to my lab documents. I'm going to add this Countries with IDP and Refugee Information shapefile. I'll click OK. And this layer is going to do triple duty. It's going to serve as the base map, the data for refugee proportional symbols, and the data for the IDP proportional symbols. So I'm going to duplicate this layer twice and rename each one to serve as its own individual theme. So I'll right click on this layer and I'll choose Duplicate, right click again, and Duplicate. So the two I duplicated are disabled by default. I'm going to drag this top one that's still turned on beneath the oceans and I'll go into the layer properties for this layer to the general tab and I'll rename this base map. I'll click OK. This uppermost layer I'm going to rename as refugees and the second duplicated layer I'll rename as IDPs. Now that I have all the data loaded, I'll work on setting the base map layer's properties so I can complete my base map. First, I want the hillshade to show on this map, so I'm going to open the properties for my base map, go to the Style tab, go to Simple Fill. I'm going to set the transparency for this at 20% and click Apply. I'm going to change the fill for this color next, so I'll choose color for the fill, and I'll set this to a hue saturation and value of 60, 10, 40. I'll click OK. Then I'll go in and I'll change the border to 0, 0, 0025. And I'll give this a border width of 1.25. And I'll click Apply. To make the country boundaries seem not so plain, I'll add a thin gray fill stroke down the center of this black border, and this will help give the borders a little more definition. So still in the style properties for the base map layer, I'll click this Add Symbol button to add a new simple fill layer to the symbol. So I'll select this new simple fill layer. I'm going to give it a fill style of no brush. And for the border, I'm going to change the color to 0075. Click OK. And I'll give this a border width of 0.75. And with that done, I'll click OK. And now let me zoom into Syria to examine the work of where the map's going to be in a little more detail. With the base map now designed, I can turn my attention to creating the proportional symbols that represent the refugees and IDPs. Let's start with the refugee proportional symbols. I'll turn on the refugee layer, and I'll turn off the fill and border styles. So I'll go into Layer Properties, click on Simple Fill, turn the fill style to No Brush, and the border style to No Pen, and click Apply. Now I'll switch to the Diagrams tab. Here I'll check Show Diagrams for this layer, and I'll keep this as a pie chart. I'll switch to this appearance tab and I'll set the line width at 0.75. And going back to this attributes tab, I'll scroll down and I'll choose the refugees column and click the plus button to add it to assigned attributes. I'll double click on this color to open up the select color window. And I'll set the hue to 4, saturation to 80, and the value to 100. And I'll click OK. Now I'll click the size tab. Instead of the default fixed size, I'll choose scaled size. 
As I want each proportional symbol to scale in relation to the refugee attribute, I'll uncheck this option and I'll now set the properties for the symbol scaling. In this attributes drop down box, I'm going to choose refugees, scroll down to the bottom and select that attribute column. I'll click the find maximum values button and I'll set this size to 40 and I'll click OK. Now I can turn my attention to creating the Syria proportional symbol and I really want to make an impact with the size of Syria's symbol. So I'll set it up so that it dominates the map and it'll be in a different color than the refugee symbols since I'm talking about a different classification. So I'll double click on the IDPs layer and as with the refugee layer I'm only interested in having this layer display the proportional symbol. So I'm going to go to the style tab and click on simple fill and I'll give it a fill style of no brush and a border style of no pen and then switch to the diagrams tab. Again I'll check show diagrams and keep it as a pie chart. Under appearance I'm going to set this line width to 0.75 as I did before and in the available attributes window I'm going to scroll down until I find IDPs and click the add button to add that to my list. And I'll double click on the color for the IDP chart to open up the select color window and I'll set this color to a hue of 270 saturation of 70 and the value of 100. And there is, if there's this other default color in here, I'm just going to go set that to white. I'm not interested in that. And finally, I'll click the size tab. Again, I'm going to choose a scaled size. If I kept the fixed size checked, even countries with a null IDP attribute would have a circle displayed. And in this case, every country except Syria has a null value. And I want to avoid that. I want to still scale the size of the proportional symbol to the attribute value. So in the attribute drop down box, I'm going to choose IDP. I'll click find maximum value. And I'll notice that the maximum value is 6,500,000. So this is roughly six and a half times larger than the country with the largest number of refugees, Lebanon, which had 980,000. So if I set the size to be six and a half times larger than the size of the largest refugee symbol, in other words, if I make this proportional to the numeric values for refugees, it would be a staggering 260 millimeters and it would be huge. It would cover the map. So my options are A, to make the refugee circle smaller, or B, use some cartographic license to scale down the IDP circle. If I choose option A, the refugee circles may become too small to be impactful. If I choose option B, I won't be scaling all the circles proportionally. Here I'm going to recommend option B because while we're not scaling proportionally, I'll still be able to make this IDP circle dominate the map and still leave an impact with the map reader. So here I'm going to set the size to 100. And then I'll click OK. And I have to enable visibility for this layer. And there's my purple IDP symbol. And at this point I can pan my map so I can see the data in relation to the country of Syria. And in the next task, I'll export the map by layers. So that's it for the map design. It looks sparse for now, but once I export the layers and import them into Inkscape, I'll be able to start arranging the circles and adding labels and create a nice composed map. So in the next task, I'll export the map by layers.